Let's go camping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to bring these up closer so it don't get wet. Ever since this whole coronavirus lockdown started, I have been working from home. I'm thankful that I have a job that allows me to continue to work from home, but after spending so much time indoors, I was dying to get out, and for more than just a few hours. The funny thing to me is that a few months before this coronavirus took the world by storm, I was looking into taking an outdoor survival training course. Now, with small businesses shut down and Walmart supercenters wide open, I figured if I was ever going to learn how to survive, I better start by practicing the skills I already know. So that Friday, I finished up work, packed my bags, and slipped into the creek in my backyard for a little impromptu weekend bug out. How you doing? Catch anything yet? Oh, you can't fish. Nice, that's something. I come down here a lot, I can't catch anything. <laughs> Good luck. So beautiful out. Mm. Man, I picked the perfect Friday to go camping. Looks like it's gonna rain, but the weather's not calling for it, so I'm gonna take my chances. If it does rain, I'll survive. Quarantine or not, I have always spent my free time outside. In fact, I've made it a part of my daily lifestyle to pursue outdoor activities, weather permitting. Some of my favorite activities include exploring, geocaching, fishing, and believe it or not, even unicycling. I guess that's why I'm always so happy and healthy. When you spend as much time sitting in front of a screen as I do, you start to realize that getting some fresh air and sunshine is the only sensible medicine there is to maintaining sanity in this modern era. My goal is to camp every month of the year, starting this month. This is my second time camping alone. I grew up camping on the Rappahannock River, the Rapidan, the James River, the Shenandoah River. My dad take, uh, take me camping all the time and uh, loved every minute of it. wetland. This whole island is uh, there's a lot of wetland around here which it's not a good idea to camp there. Definitely not. But we'll find something. We'll find something. Okay so basically what I'm doing is I'm just walking around looking for an ideal place to set up camp. Okay I'm at uh, a split where the island, well, this is all still the island right here. This is all connected, but it's really marshy and wet there. Uh, you might remember from the video when I bring Jono and Andrew over here, how we're walking and running through this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, it, it happened to me on my wolf, but I didn't go completely under. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's some really cool spots over there for camping. I know it. But I don't want to be in. There's some houses over here. And I don't want people seeing that I am camping over here. I want to be stealthy about it. So um, I think we're going to stay on this side of the island uh, and just make do. I think I found an ideal spot where there's a lot of dead wood that I can use. So it just makes sense to be near a fuel source for fire. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to stay on this side of the island. Maybe sometime later I'll camp down there, but for now, I think this, this side will do. Um, so as you can see, we've got a lot of, a lot of good, good dead wood over here. And it's not entirely flat, but I think I can find a a suitable spot somewhere around here. Oh, 
beautiful. I love this. Love it when the sunlight comes out like this. I love, love sunlight. Especially in the woods. I love being in the canoe. Second time landing. <laughs> Ain't that sunshine beautiful? Well, finally got my fire going, so I think we're going to try and uh, cook some fish once I get a good cold bed. I uh, get some, you know, bit, some of the bigger logs burning, and uh, have some dinner. But for now, let's just feed this fire, tend it, make sure it uh, doesn't get out of control. So far, so good. got my my tent all set up what's cool about this tent is that you've got these little vestibules on each side let's see I haven't set up my I don't think I've set up my oh it's inflated my mat my sleeping pad is inflated I need to no, don't go in there don't want these bugs to get inside I've got another vestibule here with the uh, more stuff on the inside. If I can open it up. Yep. Got all my stuff in here. Let's keep, keep it dry. And we got our nice campfire here. It's starting to dwindle down, but I set up these long, thick logs to feed the fire. And so uh, I won't have to keep adding wood. It just, as it 
burns down, I keep feeding the logs in and uh, getting ready for bed. So probably will stop feeding the fire soon. This fire turned out really nice. I got a really nice coal bed going over there. Look at that. Look at that coal bed. Look at that. This fire is freaking hot. Yep, sure did outdo myself this time. <laughs> Don't know if you can see it, but that's Venus. There's my campfire. Well, here I am, my second time solo camping, and I'm on an island. This is my first time camping here, and I came here from home by canoe. I've camped many, many times with my dad and friends, um, but this is my first time camping by myself. And this tent, last time I solo camped was in Elizabeth furnace with my uh, hammock tent so if there's any problems we got backup baby <laughs> it's, it's just a uh, BB gun um, but anyways so it's been a great night it's been a, been a really great evening I uh, fried up some catfish and that was caught right out of this creek and uh, about ready to go to bed. Got my UDC candle lantern here hanging from from the top of my tent. This is really great in the uh, uh, in the winter time when it's cold. It really heats up the tent. But it's April right now, and I honestly I don't need it. As soon as I stop this video and go to sleep, I'm just gonna blow it out. Uh, I don't. But in the winter time, it does provide does heat up the tin a little bit just a little candle candle lantern that's all it is and i'm in my sleeping bag right now inside of my uh, marine corps t-cop tent and i got the the vents open so cross ventilation baby and uh of course i've got the vestibule here where i can keep my shoes and stuff in here uh, keep it dry if it rains but it's not gonna rain tonight so no bigs oh yeah baby <laughs> camping on an island can't complain love it out here well this is Joey signing out thank you so much for joining me and uh, we'll see you in the morning I'm going to make some uh, Let's make some breakfast with uh, a camp breakfast kit that I have with my uh, gas stove and some coffee so stay tuned it's the new morning and I got myself a little fire going look how small it is